Hello everyone. Um, so I was watching a series on Road to Unicom. So uh, and I liked it, and I thought, I wonder if that would help me at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that myself. Um, I'm gonna use a similar format, but I'm not gonna use my garage. Uh, only reason for that is that will require me blending two different videos together, and that would mean that I only be able to do one of these a day. Um, so because it would take six to eight hours to um, do that, because my CPU is not very good. So at the beginning of every single battle, I'm going to put my current stats of that uh, day. Um, I will be putting out two to three videos of these per day, since I don't have to do anything besides upload them. Um, and then edit them in YouTube. So I'll probably uh, record them three at a time, and then upload them. Um, share them to the forums, and then hopefully get some feedback on them. They will, of course, be my better games, uh, because my horror games uh, honestly don't highlight anything. <laughs> honestly, they just show... They probably do show quite a bit, but they don't show, in my opinion, what I can actually do, given the fact that they're just showing what I normally don't do, i.e. Um, really bad positioning and map awareness and whatnot so that's just something I'm working on I'm working on my consistency anyway so in this battle I'm playing in the uh, AMX 57 GF it's a really good tank however you always lose money because as you can see I'm oh, right <laughs> I'm, so, I'm not used to recording I'm using 105 um, strong coffee and nothing but APCR um, I type something in chat because uh, at the time I was kind of delirious, so you know. Anyway, so let's get on with this. Um, put it back to one times. So I'm just gonna skip this. There. Uh, at the beginning of this, of course, you know the usual NA crash hits every server, but you know. <laughs> uh, anyway, so the uh, first thing I'm thinking, I'm gonna go ahead and do my sneaky spot, which honestly. I used to go to that rock that's over there, straight to that rock, but I've actually found that that to be quite bad. Actually, did I get rid of my stats? No, I did not. Yay! Anyway, so I go ahead and do this way, over the top of the ridge, get in it all the way to the rock so I can spot as much as I can, and get to the rock. And there's a bulldog here. I was expecting him to rush me. Um, and he didn't. So I wait until he pulls back and I auto aim just to get my gun into the area. This thing has a really fast reload per shot, between shots. Like something like one shot a uh, second. So I waste about three shots there, four shots. Um, but if they hit, I would have done quite a bit of damage to them. Uh, it is currently a bug in the replay where the um, details isn't happening. Um, I will see if I can fix that for the next pat or next video. Um, anyway, so right now I am basically just waiting, uh, seeing what I can see, see if there's any tank stores up over there. They only have one, so and he has not been spotted. It is the what is it? it is the T95? So I would expect him to be over by the uh, heavy tanks. I do believe that's where we found him. <laughs> I can't honestly remember. This was the last battle I play, played, but it was uh, about six hours ago. <laughs> anyway, so I go ahead and go over to spot things. Um, and Bulldog is, of course, there. I pull back, expecting it to be spotted. I don't actually have six cents for this tank. As you can see, I don't have it. That's also what I have on it. Uh, I have... Um, those um, additional grousers or whatever it is, uh, simply because I found that this tank takes damage from just about anything, so that helps a little bit. Um, anyway, so right now I'm just sniping. This tank's actually a fairly good sniper with its APCR rounds. It has 200, pretty much 200 mils of um, penetration, which is actually quite good for a tier 7 light tank with such a small gun. It's only got a 57 millimeter gun. So I was thinking about firing at him, but then I realized I have a shot on this guy. And this is where this thing comes into awesomeness. It's just so fast firing. I was able to literally just nuke that guy. Of course, I wasn't the one shooting at him, 
so I didn't do all the damage. Uh, however, that is one of the reasons why I like this tank. Um, it cannot anti-light tank. It has a max clip potential of 720. It can kill tier seven or tier six light tanks and some tier seven light tanks, but not tier eight and not all tier seven light tanks. Um, anyways, um, I don't think I can. <laughs> I, I, I honestly, that's one thing I don't really know much about is HP of every single tank in the game. I just know most of them. Light tanks isn't really one I've really learned. Right here, I'm also showing how fast this thing can kill shit. <laughs> uh, um, a lot of people think this tank is super OP. It is in a way, but it's highly balanced with the fact that its AP is crap. And without coffee and 105, I would be sluggishly moving. So right now, I go ahead and think, oh, I will spot this guy, and I did. I auto aim and uh, fire because idiot. Um, so I go ahead and reload when I'm no longer can see him, and I pull back. Um, this is something I've learned recently. Instead of pushing the advantage, I decided to go back to break cover, and you know, just in case there's a tank behind him, I don't want to be insta killed by I don't know some tank. Uh, the T95 is still alive. He's over where I thought it would be with the heavies. So right now I'm thinking maybe I should go cap, and then I'm also thinking I don't want to get shot by artillery, but I think well. Artillery would have been over there. I just looked over there. I would have spotted that. So I think, okay, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I can just sit here and get some cap circles points. Um, I'm backing up a little bit. That way, I'm not uh, spotted instantly when they come around the corner. Um, I asked my guys to cap because I figured maybe they're going to try to cap. And I think, and right now, I know I cannot sit here. Uh, he is. 340 meters away, he can spot me. At that point, that's that's when I move. Um, I don't know if that is vanilla or a mod. I can't remember, to be honest with you. Um, I think about going around the corner here, and then I say, oh, no. And I think, okay, let's try track one. First shot misses, second shot hits. And I try this third one, that one misses as well. Uh, this shell is so small, I don't think I could actually have tracked it with... Even if all three of those shots hit the same spot, I don't think I could have done it. Um, anyway, so I go over here to, you know, get behind them, get the guns turned out of the way. So I go go ahead and put a few shots into the top of this guy's uh, super small misses. But the penetration isn't actually enough to do much against the T95. Um, so I took a shot and it kills my commander. Which is also the loader. <laughs> I don't have a first aid kit because normally you don't lose crew in this in this tank. You usually die before that happens. Um, so right now I'm just waiting to reload. Uh, it's 19 seconds. For some reason, once again, the replay isn't showing the actual reload of the tank. And now I just go ahead and start farming the IS-3A, which with 200 millimeters of penetration, I'm more than capable of pinning every shot. Of course, once again, I decide to reload. Um, right now, we're getting capped. The Centurion 1 goes ahead and pulls out and goes to re re reset. At the time, I didn't actually know what he was doing uh, because I hadn't recognized that we were being capped. Uh, at, at this point, though, I realized, oh shit, we're being capped. And I think, um, should I hide or should I go reset? I think hide for a second because that Centurion should get back in time. If not, the CDC will. CDC is fairly quick. Um, so that's GA2, destroys the T95. Our DW, um, I don't know what he's looking at. Um, and by the way, that's the V range, the green circle without your commander on this tank. It's quick crap. Right now, I am looking for the uh, Alex 3A. I don't want to be proxy spotted. I think he might be in that little goalie there. So I pull away. I don't want to be spotted by it because I don't know. Uh, if the artillery is looking this way or not. Um, I find out, no, he's not. I'm fully loaded with 8 clip, or 8 rounds, so I can easily kill this guy. And of course, my, my last shot didn't do all the damage. That's two shots, I don't think. 
did enough damage. Well, even when I'm on 14 health, I reload. And I, of course, here I'm hesitating and I realize, oh, wait, I could just go up there and kill this guy. Uh, I'm not one-shotable by him, so unfortunately I realized that too late to save our SD8-2. So those are my first two shots. Bounce. Um, if you're wondering why my cursor keeps sticking to the ground, it's because I'm using auto-aim plus without snapping. Um, I can give you guys my mod pack to prove that. Um, every mod I'm currently using is completely legal. You're allowed to have every mod I'm currently using at this time. That might change. <laughs> Uh, as it is evident with the current um, uh, things. Anyways, I'm gonna pause it there. Um, so if you have any ideas on what I could have done better, that be, and you want to share those, go ahead and do so. Um, I will, of course, be posting these on the forums in spoilers. Um, uh, if you don't know what a spoiler is, it is uh, compressed. Um, I'm not gonna explain it as I understand it. I'm just gonna say what it. What it looks like it's basically a box that is hiding something it allows for two things one so that if you don't want to be spoiled you don't have to click on it and don't you don't want to automatically see it and two it allows you to make smaller posts um i use it in every guide i make um anyway so uh yeah so that, i'll do that that way they're numbered and you guys can say oh in this video you could have done this and whatnot um also, I'll be taking suggestions on what I can do to make my videos better. Um, if you want me to not use any mods for my actual video, I do have a separate client installed that I can do that with. It's the EU server, but I don't play mods on the EU server, given my ping. Um, also, um, if you would like me to actually show the garage, I might be able to do that. I have an idea of how to do that. Um, using the YouTube editor that's online, I could do that, but that would take a lot. Long. I don't know if I could get uh, three videos out of the day. Um. Anyway, so I hope you have some suggestions for me. Um, I am attempting to get up to Unicom. I do have a few people helping me. Um, so it shouldn't take you know forever. <laughs> um. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you in the next one.